what you know about earth science part one recently I went on a camping trip and I went around on the beach asking people earth science questions um, these questions were not particularly hard but they did give people a hard time um, getting the right answer my first question was what caused the seasons let's see what they have to say question one what causes the seasons on earth Got any guess? Uh, sun. Okay, and how, does, how can we get winter and summer? Uh, when the sun's further away. Okay. Excuse me, sir, would you be willing to answer some questions about a science project? I'm just sure. Taking a survey here. Okay, first, um, where are you from? Milwaukee. Excellent. And how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, almost 16. 16, okay. Got a high school here. All right, first question, what causes the seasons on Earth? Uh, changes in the atmosphere. Changes in the atmosphere, excellent. What causes the seasons here in Wisconsin? The seasons? Yeah, why do we have winter and summer, fall and spring? Uh, rotation of the planet, misalignment of the uh, center of the planet, the poles. Okay. Um, would you be willing to answer some questions? Nope. Not okay. Oh. oh. First one to deny me. Rejected. <laughs> Dang. How's it feel, Dave? It feels five like middle school all over again when the first dance. <laughs> would you be willing to answer some questions about science? Yes, I would actually love to answer questions about science. Okay, excellent. Where are you from first? <laughs> I'm from Nelson Bay. Okay, excellent. My first question to you is, where do, or why do we have seasons here in Wisconsin? Because there's 365 days in the year and they all can't be alike. Okay, um, so then why is it similar temperatures always, like say in Mexico, but not here? Because latitude, what say, what's that Jimmy Buffett song? Changes in latitude, changes in latitude. It's latitude, uh -huh. their latitude is similar, but opposite. Opposite. All right. Number question number one: What causes the seasons here in Wisconsin? The uh, Earth axis. Okay, excellent. Question. Question two, what are clouds made of? Moisture. Okay. But do you have time to answer questions or are you busy at work? I'm busy at work. <laughs> uh, question two, what are clouds made of? Water vapor, uh, certain pollutants, uh, chlorofloral, floral carbons, and uh, methane. Are you putting any CFCs into those clouds? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think I am. I'm a, I, I work in the construction industry, and a lot of the solvents we use are propelled by your chlorophoral carbons. And uh, what's the next question, Bob? Uh, question two, what are clouds made of? Flash. Uh, question two, what are clouds made of? Uh, evaporated water. Okay. Question two, what are clouds made of? Uh, Okay. Question two, what are clouds made of? Water. Questions? Wow. Oh, dang. How's it feel? <laughs> Why do we have day and night? Because uh, there's a certain rotational mass called the Earth that goes in through the solar system around the sun in a 365 day cycle. It is elliptical. There's the seasons and the day and night. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. And right. you are from where? Racine. Racine? Yeah. Do you go to school or you just piss people off with your stupid <laughs> questions? <laughs> no, we go to school. So all right. All right. Things, but thank you very much. All right. all right. Uh, I want all royalties and any money is from my uh, deposition. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll do that. We'll mail it to Allison Bay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Question three Why do we have day and night? Because uh, the sun goes away. 
away. Some goes away. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Question three, why do we have day and night? Um, from the sun going, from, going across the sky and then the moon coming in. Okay, excellent. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. And question three, why do we have day and night? Planet rotates. Excellent. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Question three, why do we have day and night? Rotation of the earth.